This is coming out after. A lot has happened. It's the end of the year. <laughs> it's the beginning of the year. It's the beginning of the year. The president got impeached, but oh, man. we're st- he's still there. This is coming out later. So I'm about to say it's been so long ago. He's now. still there. Uh, Christmas the happened. Is back in office like nothing. Yeah, happened. and won so, the WWE championship. Okay, that's my prediction. Okay, <laughs> Christmas happened. You ain't get what you wanted, but it's all right because next year you can buy what you need. I saw uncut gems. How was that? The Adam Sandler movie. How was that? It was uh it was a lot. Really? Like, for, it's like a real anxious story. Like it's just a day in the life of a guy that has the worst luck that he brings upon himself. Mm-hmm. But it's good acting. Like, yeah, I mean he does a great That's what job I wanted to it. know. But it's like you're sitting there the whole time, like I will say the story, like you wanna know what happens next. Okay. Like so it keeps the you, whole time you're like, okay, what happens next? All the way up until the end. Keeps so you involved. Like, That's positive. It definitely does. But there are definitely points where you're like, yo, this man is like mad annoying. But, like he's yeah. super annoying. I mean, his it's Adam Sandler. Char- his character is definitely annoying. But you know what? I guess he does a good job because I don't see him as Adam Sandler. Like when I watched oh, him, yeah. I didn't think this is Happy Gilmore playing Okay, series. that's good. So yeah, there was that. Speaking of annoying, did you like that new Star Wars? Uh, man, it was, a, uh, it was action packed. Nah, man, it was, tra- look, it was a cool little movie Shredded if you never it, saw it, 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 Star Wars and trash. you just wanted to throw away everything about Star Wars. I know what like, you mean. You're like, yo, let me just make up new stuff. It's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was a cool little thing. I feel you. It's like when people like that Biggie compilations album, I'm like, obviously, <laughs> you've, you've never listened to Biggie. This is a terrible, whoa, whoa, terrible whoa. album. Yeah, it was bad. I was about to say, calm down. Like it, the, wasn't, it wasn't rap like, phenomenon. You like Notorious, uh, that Notorious Thugs rehash. It's, uh, it was terrible. Notorious. Yeah. What, what was <laughs> that? Yeah. <laughs> Spit your game, fuck your shit. Nah, get out of here, because it's not nah, it. Swiss really thought he yeah. had something with that one. You know what? Swiss was in there. Yes. You, you could see him bouncing. You know yeah. how many times Swiss thought he had when it didn't Swiss have one? Swiss has bounced his way onto so many albums. Yeah. Like, so many dudes was like, I feel like later on they was like, Dog, it really sucks. But when I was in the studio, Swiss kept bouncing. That's the way I feel. Plus, <laughs> plus, plus at the just, time. He wouldn't stop bouncing. I was like, this has got to be hot. At the time, the South wasn't on. So that's as far as they was going to go. They yeah. was like, we'll get Swiss. He over there. He Remember right. when Bone Thug signed with Swiss and they was going to oh, come back? Oh, that was terrible, too. They was like, they're coming back. So, they didn't. They're more baseline. They're not more drum people. Like, that's ridiculous. But blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Black and ugly as ever, however, stay used and down to my socks. It's... Carlton Banks, Carlton with a KBA and Triple X, Carlton with a KBA and Triple X, also known as Avery, like a very nice guy. With the Texans hat. Yes, with the Texans hat, because I like the Texans, even though I'm a huge Baltimore Ravens fan, but I love the Texans. Hmm, I, you can like more than one team, nigga. Can you? But you can, though. Can and you? I'm with my co host, that guy over there, my buddy, Mr. Devon. I look, like, I look like Houston teams. I like that. Man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. But I only like Houston teams. That's What's your right. name again? Just Devon. There you go. There That's you go. how it goes. Just Devon. And we're here with our special guest today. Actually, I mean, high-key, low-key, high-key family. Hey, man. <laughs> Just so that we found out <laughs> on we, accident. Yeah, we found out going somewhere. Like, oh, that's my cousin. Like, why is she <laughs> taking tickets? Ridiculous. Uh, we have the guys from Classroom Concerts here. Classroom yeah. Concerts. Why don't you gentlemen introduce yourselves? What's up? What's up, man? I'm uh, Professor Pete. Boom, boom. Yeah. What's up, man? My name is Resin Pullen, a.k.a. A1 Hollywood. A1. If y'all don't know about Classroom Concerts, they had a lot of people on there. They're going to have Propane, Domain, Dinah. Let's see who else slipping through. Oh, Susan man. Susan Carroll. Jazz Thank you. Jazz Anderson. Sauce Walker. Sauce Walker. Yes. Walker. Can't forget the sauce. Can't for, how do I man. forget the sauce? Dante Higgins. Dante yeah, Higgins, hey. EJ Reed, Tobacco Ryan, 1020 Mezzi. We just, yeah. Oh, yeah. 1020 got a heart. Um, yeah. Our boy, uh, Compass. Dang, I know him as Compass. God Body Thank Bingo. Thank you. God Body God Bingo. Body yeah. Bingo. God Body yeah, Bingo. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. Lay, lay some uh, lyrics down for us. Yeah. For sure. God, God Body. Body. Like family, man. He good people. He really is good, good people. people. That's why you really just can't people. forget him, man. Yeah. Now, you two are from Houston? Yes. Oh, well, uh, well, I'm actually from Tyler, Texas. Uh, that's, that's where I grew up. Close 903 enough. East Texas. Nah, that's that's three and a half close. hours. Man. Tyler, yeah. Texas is not close yeah, at all. That's, Texas. that's where Eric Bishop is from, right? Eric Bishop, Earl Campbell, the Tyler yeah. Rose. You know, several people got uh, 
ties entirely. Yes. Me yeah. being one of them. Eric Bishop is Jamie Foxx. No, nah, I understand. No, no, Tara, 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 Tara. That's Tara, Tara, oh, that's, Tara. Oh, that's, that's, like, that's like 45 minutes up, so yeah, it, it commonly gets Ur, mistaken. It had a T in it. Yeah. <laughs> close enough. <laughs> so you guys put on classroom concerts, right? Classroom so concerts. before we get into what, how y'all got it started, tell us what is classroom concerts? Uh, Classroom Concerts is a digital concert series platform for Houston artists. Well, I say Houston artists. It's really we built it for Southern artists. Uh, Houston, uh, we needed a platform down here for artists to showcase their skills. It's unique because we bring artists out with a live band. And then we also have artists explain their music uh, during the set. I, I like to explain it as a tiny desk mix with the uh, uh MTV unplug like that's what it, yeah like it's that. not exactly. like an unplugged yeah. where it's like oh it's all you know non electronic instruments but it is unplugged yeah, I have a live band live band uh people come on and really give us everything they got there it's their time to be creative and show us what it is that they want to bring to the forefront what they want people to be hearing from their music and their lyrics and what they want them to take away from it so we thought that was necessary as a former artist in both Houston and Tyler scenes. Like we thought that would be a good way to uh, get artists exposed and just have their attention on artists in a new way. Well, let's show some of the stuff that y'all got going here. Let's show the uh, the Sauce trailer because Sauce Walker was y'all's first artist. Yeah, that was the first show, man. So how did that even come together? Uh, let me talk about this man's leap of faith first <laughs> of all. Like, man, we uh. We were really kind of standing on the idea of how we should get this off the ground first. And he kind of just led, was like, man, we should go with Sauce Walker. It would it, it, be a great move right now. People respect us, respect him, and he's got some great music out. And, man, he, he kind of led the way as far as just making that decision. And we felt like that was a great time to get that on here. So that's what we followed with. Ooh, 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 ooh. So that is Sauce yo, Walker yo, 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 in yo, front yo, of a I'm full band. Full I'm A1 Hollywood. Band. Welcome it's to Classroom amazing. Concerts, man. Oh, I'm about to play a little point. Too much energy, I treat them like enemies. You go perform the ground. Professor Pete. Yeah. Where that dude at? That's, That's Professor Pete. Child support. For Spitting bars. Just throwing that out there. That's <laughs> what I just said. I'm paying the child support for my own body. For my dad, who raised me the whole 28 years of my life. Everybody, we still haven't had that scene top yet, huh? So, <laughs> set the podium. So, Wow. Okay, so first off, why Sauce Walker to leave this off? Well, man, uh, you know we in Houston, and if you're in the Houston rap game, if you pay attention to Houston hip hop at all, like you uh, should know about Sauce Walker, and uh, when he and I, I just I paid attention to the Sauce move and everything, but when I heard that ghetto gospel, uh, heard the the song. But then when he dropped the album, I was like, man, and like I wasn't can't say that I was just jamming Sauce Walker uh mixtapes or albums mm -hmm. like that, like all the way through it all. I would listen to a couple songs or whatever, but man, he dropped that and I was like, Sauce saying something on here. Like he's really giving us real life. Like his yeah. he's giving us an insight to who he is. And so like when I thought of, we thought about the show, uh uh thought about doing it, talked about it, and like it was like, nah, Sauce gotta do it because you, he he preaching right now. Like I would love to hear why he raps about what he raps about. Cause that the Ghetto Gospel album just made me want to be like, man, who is this guy? Who is Sauce? And I wanted the rest of the world to see that too. Yeah. And so that's what the show was about to me. Like let's let the world see who these artists really are. And Sauce Walker being from Houston already, so we want to put the, a Southern artist on. Cause he big, but. He's not on the level of I don't even know if Sauce had a million followers yet, and not not talking down on right, him at all, right, but right. just saying like 
I felt he needs a platform too to do his thing in our city. Just like anybody, anybody who comes through the city and you a good artist, you come out this city, we need you to touch classroom concerts before you leave this city. And if not before, we need you to come back and touch it. That's the type of platform we want it to be. Like the world needs to know. Like Apollo, you from New York? You done probably hit the Apollo <laughs> before you done came out. <laughs> like that's how sure. we looking at classroom concerts to be, man. We want you to, you need to hit. If you ain't did classroom concerts, the city don't know you. And we talked about, and you and I have talked about building platforms mm -hmm. in the city. So why was it so important that you have a platform, particularly just in Houston? Uh, I'm, because like I, I y'all saw uh, I, I being an artist like rapping uh, doing showcases that's what really sparked the platform thought in my mind like man I was paying these people basically or just selling tickets for them to do their showcases which I mean that it's how the game go. A lot of people do that. Like, and I was just like, I got, I, I, I'm gonna interrupt you real quick. Stop paying people to I, go on hey, shows. I agree. <laughs> they I are totally taking, agree. they're taking play? advantage yeah. of you. Yeah. Go to other places, build up your fame, build it up online. There's classroom concerts. There's a uh, bounce and turn. There's yes. mm -hmm. there are venues that are now starting, but you kind of starting in the hole where you like, yo, I gotta pay to get on, and that's kind of what's wrong. That's, uh, like, that's, that's whole, how the game is getting saturated. Whole, yeah, I feel like it's too much of that in Houston, man. Yeah. Like, and I love my city. I'm not yeah. one of people talk down on the game, like the industry. I love being in this industry, and I love the audience. I just pe people don't take time to figure the audience out here in Houston out and yep. to show them love like that, give to them. I think, but uh, I think that uh, like that's a problem. Like everybody trying to make a dollar off of everything in the game, and it. You building a business, it just can't be like that. You can't expect to just win off of everything, especially dealing with artists. We wanted to give a platform, like we wanted to give you a platform. We didn't want to start some and you to to pay us to pay our bills to keep this going. We wanted to start something to be able to provide something for the city, and we be able to provide a platform to these artists. Like, no, we respect your art. We see it. We need the rest of the world to see it as well. That's what. That's what made me want to start a platform like looking at i'm paying these people i'm like nah man i'm gonna do my own show my boy got my boy q he directs our show i'm like man let's put together we started an annual show we did it like three times and we got the idea to do this like let's do it we we need it like y'all doing mm. this it's That's good man i mean you're very passionate about what you do it had to come from somewhere and getting back to what we talked about earlier when did you start rapping? Because we did see you rap there. Yeah. You, you, ra you rapped in the trailer. You rapped, the in, the rapped trailer. in the trailer. So you can't act like you don't Because it's not like first you know a lot about music. Trailer, all from from firsthand experience. First of all, I will say this. I did not plan to rap in the episode when I said do it. But mm -hmm. everybody, uh, I brought it up to a really like I talked to Rez about it. I talked yeah. to my boy Q Wayne who directed and I talked to my cousin Jay Christine. She performed with me on the show. She the one who gave me the idea and said it has to be digital. Like the it inaugural needs to be show recorded. gotta be performed by the host, Professor P. <laughs> it was like, only right. Being the first show and like the reason why we started it, everybody like, Hey, we need to like you get out there and perform, like do your thing. And uh I just I feel like Sauce was kinda th thrown off by like this nigga rapping like yeah, I thought he was doing definitely the backstage. Yeah, exactly. he was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was just on the uh, on the mic. I tell him, yeah, that's Professor B. Like, okay, yeah, I hear him. I st but I started rapping in like oh seven oh eight in school, man, and then like uh just came to the game. Like I I remember coming back to the city like two thousand ten. Uh, from school and like that's talking about the 2010 class with Doe yeah. Beasy and K Dog and that's when boys was really SF2 was putting on Kickback Sunday man and I remember boys used to be standing outside in the morning like seven eight in the morning like some J's artists standing outside to go perform in SF2 at Kickback Sunday hmm. to sign up for that night and that's what I was like man these and they wasn't charging nobody yeah they it wasn't no yeah. price being paid but and I, and that's what I liked about it. And that I was like, man, that's an aspect I really want to bring to the industry. Like, bro, we we got to put on for the artists. Like, let's give them something. And in return, I bet we'll get something from the city. I hmm. bet. Now, Rez, you rap? Uh, yeah, I didn't have my hand in rap. I, I only put out <laughs> one mixtape. So, you know, it's been a 
kind of, I'm not going to say no rough start, but I'm just now getting into it. But as of right now, I'm just pursuing this law degree and uh, everything that comes with this class. Law degree. Now, look did at you, these men. Yes, did you two meet? At law, at law school, did y'all know each other before? In law school. Yeah. Really? And yeah. what law school do you go to? They're good. They're good. All right. TSU, Texas Southern University. Yes, so, sir. Shout out to them, man. You yeah. guys meet at law school, and then y'all just decide, hey, there's not enough work here at law school, so let me start <laughs> <in> the class. <laughs> <Wow. Like, laughs> it well, it's kind of crazy <laughs> because uh, a lot of the people that we mess with, we found out we had a lot of mutual friends with, in Houston yeah. and, uh, Red and Sam as that. well. And, okay. you know, we was in the same section, and as we kind of talked to each other, we found out our commonality was music. We had some of the same taste in music and same ideals, but we always talked about uh, we was going to link up, we was going to do something. So that first year, we kind of both, you know, gave each other the run around just a little bit. But that second year, we was like, man, we said we was going to do we something. We got a little years. bit closer, and uh, we actually sat down and started thinking of some ideals, and you know, this was one of the things we recognized in the Houston industry that needed to be addressed. Like there wasn't uh we felt like adequate representation of all the talent that Houston has. Yeah. And we, we we came up with this idea of classroom concerts and it kind of just rolled. And uh and everything that I've been a part of or said something in, like I've said it's really been God guided and God given. That's like, all our steps and stuff like that, because we you know, it just it just continued to open up doors that we didn't think were that accessible to us at the point. Mm -hmm. They were opening up like as yep. if it was already planned and destined for us to step into this moment. So mm. just that, that was, it came easily. We just started what this last February and February this year. The first year. show was in March. That's crazy. Yeah. Right. All right. That's around the first, that's around the time we started too. But yeah, that's, that's right. amazing. Yeah. And yeah, that, that, is. Is. that is. That's crazy. Didn't even know. We yeah. should have. Like, talk to your family. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Rez, not talk to your family. Yeah. Speaking we of were, family, <laughs> Rez talking about how we had connections uh, and Rez rapping, ra rapping, running Rez family. Yeah. His My brother, brother is, Ray P. Yeah, Ray P. Uh, Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your brother's a huge star? Man, look. Really? Shout out to Ray Your brother's P. Ray P. Shout out to Fossil Up Pro. Shout out to all of them. Yeah, yeah. Mike what? Red. Everybody has that reaction. Yeah, your brother's not a local like, person. Oh, y'all look like twins now that yeah, I think yeah. about it. Now that I think yeah, about now it. Now I, that you yeah, now you Okay, okay. I just found out after the first <laughs> show that Ray was Ray's brother. And I've been knowing Ray and Mike. But me and Ray has been knowing each other uh, almost two years at that point, And I didn't even know. You were just keeping it. You, you, yeah, you a G for that one. Not just being like, I hear with a shirt on. Yeah, I got uh, yeah. to get going to strip clubs. By my, uh, wait, wait, I'm a Ray P's little I, brother. Hey, I was doing that though. I was in tote bar and all that. I'm about to say. And, you know, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That means when y'all were playing in the first one, and y'all sitting up here playing out a rap concert. You were just sitting there quiet, like he's like, "Thought we gotta get Sauce Walker, somebody." You just sitting there like, "Yeah, my brother, we should." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it, it made sense how he came on and when he came on. So, yeah. I am that's one what's up, man. That. No, that's yeah. dope. That's Ray, dope. Ray and Mike came out and performed at the last uh, last show. They came out and performed. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Ray, I was I was waiting on Rez to say like, "Hey, bro, when we go put my brother on the show." Like, yeah, <laughs> Just uh, patiently like, waiting, yeah, like, that's just, that's ask me, I'm like, ready. Yeah, like, <laughs> it had to make sense. Yeah, it had to make sense. That's good. I understand on both fronts. Yeah, now, yeah. you were just, you're reaching out to rappers. What is their perception? And then when they come and perform, what are some of the things they're saying just at the performance? Because this is a little, uh, it's different performing there for classroom concerts. Like you said, it's like an unplugged kind of thing. Yeah. Well, you mean a perception like when we hit them up with a, first thing they say, oh, that sounds dope. And then, uh, <laughs> you don't hear back from him. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my manager's number. Now, man, yeah, let me I, sit again. I love, bro, I love for somebody to have a manager, like, be like, contact for booking, contact my manager. And I go to it, and it looked like somebody who professional. Because if it just looked like one of their partners, I'm about to have just as much of a hard time <laughs> mm -hmm. dealing yeah, with yeah, them yeah. Yeah. as yeah. I would the artist down Or like we were saying, when they, like, it was saying, Send all inquiries to my booking email, and you send it to them, and nothing happened. Oh, I don't even but then you that. run into them, and they're like, "Oh no, just shoot me a DM." I'm like, "Why'd you have a booking email?" Yeah. But it's cool. It's cool. But surprisingly, though, I mean, with our first episode, Sauce was very uh, 
welcoming and wanting to work with us as far as getting everything down. But since then, everybody mentions that Sauce episode yeah. where oh, they seen yeah. it on there. That's why we yeah. uh, yeah, they was. like, man, it's, it's such a good idea. We believe in it. And then when they get there, it's like even more as a, a surprise because they're like, man, this looks dope. Like they see the set and how it's classroom and like everybody from propane. It was like, man, this is a, a great setup. We really appreciate this experience. That's that's what I didn't say about booking sauce. Probably my uh, number one or two reason was like just not only thinking about just in business, like starting especially the internet, social media stuff where we at YouTube, starting a business, you just don't look at like, oh, bam, I'm about to make money right off the top. It's like, what can I do to not only, especially dealing with, because I'm dealing with entertainment, what can I do not only to attract the audience out, but to attract other artists? Mm -hmm. And other artists want to be associated with somebody who's doing so. They usually don't want to be associated with people that they feel are beneath them. Absolutely. They want to feel Absolutely. like somebody. So going after Sauce for the first show to kind of set a standard of like, oh yeah, this is, hey guys, this is what we're trying to do for the city. Like, look at this. And the way it made Sauce look. I think if we had somebody else on the first show, we probably wouldn't even thought it was... We had a, as right. great of an idea as we think it is right yeah. now just because I think he really showed us a lot about what, oh, we were like, oh, we do want more talking. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's no, no, exactly that's what we want. <laughs> he, he, yeah. He he really like, you know, showed you guys some layers. Man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even get in touch with Sauce Walker. Um, Sauce being a real H-Town cat, I uh, <laughs> reached out to – the person in his booking inquiry. Uh, <laughs> and Sometimes it, was, it works. It was his uncle. Uncle, cool people, man. Uh, shout out to works. Big Unc, man. Cool dude. Uh, reached out to them. Uh, actually, no, you know, I talked to his daddy first. And then uh, then I talked to his uncle. But his pops, pop man, his his daddy, real cool dude. Real they, cool, They yeah. came out to the show. That's you was asking people perception of the yeah. show. and. His daddy, Sauce's daddy loved the idea from the beginning, I think even more than Sauce did yep. until Sauce got there. And even when Sauce got there, his daddy eyes, like, they sat on the side of the stage and just looked with mouth open, like, in amazement the whole time. Like, you can tell he was proud. Like, man, like, this is my son. Like, you know, him, I don't see him at Sauce's other shows. He doing Yeah, it. you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, he was at that show and, like, loved every minute. They were sitting there, him and his uncle came, him and his uncle came out, and they just set that a whole show like in amazement because it it makes the audience focus on the rapper and what they say. I mean, it's rappers be on stage all the time mm -hmm. and they're performing mm -hmm. or whatever. But this isn't like a rapper on stage with twenty people in the club where people are dancing or whatever. This is like this is a performance. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's yeah. a real focus and. It, you're out there. Like, I would say you're out there more than a regular oh, yeah. show. Like, yeah. it's it's just band, you. Band have you naked out there. Too. Yeah. Yes. Plus, <laughs> I mean, without, <laughs> without, like, the deep, like, standing up crowd participation, because, yeah. like. People sitting down. They're not yeah. going to tell you to put your hands up. Yeah. Like, because nobody is. they just nope. looking. And ladies, yeah. ladies 30 plus, you can come to the show and sit down. <laughs> like, you ain't got to yeah. stand yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your feet. If, hey, fellas, if bring you're it. a big fan of the sinning. Bring yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Big <laughs> fan of the sinning, boy. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what come it is. Bring your ladies I, out on a date, man. She enjoy let's it. Show, uh, let's show Dante Higgins. Dante friend of the show, Dante, Dante Higgins. Dante Higgins. Our first guest. We went. That's the show that we went to, the Dante show. For sure. And... uh Y'all filmed a, a few things out uh, at yeah. that time, but yeah, Dante's yeah. also one of those people that gets up and tells his story. Yeah. That's and then he story. raps and then he tells more story. Yeah. I swear I'm everybody, bro, when they want something. This mix sounds yeah. way better. Yeah. Check. People always got their hands out. Miles open. And my car only got a couple miles on. I'm 
and I, <laughs> no, I love it. And then it's like he had a whole up, speech leading up into it yeah. where he oh, talked about man. like. Yo, I got a homeboy that go to jail every year. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he like, was, he you was got perfect me? for the show. No, man. he was absolutely oh, bro, perfect. Man, perfect. It was made for Dante. But when Dante, Dante was like, oh, I'm now. Before I could even finish sending him a DM, like Dante was like, yeah, I'm there. Like, man, like, oh, man. He was like, man, I love yeah. it. I love what y'all are doing. Like, and Dante, being a lyricist, you know, and Dante is, he's very, not only passionate, but He's very technical about his rapping and like mm-hmm. he go and then working with Charity. Them I know Charity is producer like and they uh, they started God Level with uh, I forgot the other guy's name but man yeah they doing crazy things over there and to put in he him with that live band it was just like bro we oh the live band well with him was perfect man yeah. uh, and he always show up well prepared yeah. everything he he ready to go on time or early he don't miss a lyric no bro. no man, he, he was don't chomping at miss the bit. a lyric bro I, he like he say bro just let me know I'll be there I'm rapping and to be be honest we got to edit it out he didn't even practice with the band. We no, he said, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, he said, said that at the beginning of the show. Yeah, so he's like, I'm gonna see how this go, and then I was like, Man, I don't know how this gonna go. Nah, I, but he popped right in. Dante is beat. probably the one, one of the few artists that's not a singer that can just go oh, yeah. straight with the band. Like, and I, would, oh, yeah. I didn't even think about it because I know he can rap, and I didn't see him do. If you can do acapella, then the band just, oh yeah, like, help yeah. you out. You yeah, know what I'm saying? True. Like, he, now, how y'all, how y'all choose your band members? Because uh, the band is cold. Family, family actually like I, just, <laughs> I, mar- family. Yeah. I married into something great you know? yeah. <laughs> like, man like nah and she uh, married something great too <laughs> oh, man. We, we met we met our other cousin too <laughs> uh, like what i play for we met him at a dinner yeah. and he was like yo i you know he's like i i, I drum i was like oh, okay that's cool and then we just sit there talking to him about it and he goes yeah yeah man i i, I drum for classroom concerts i do the music out there i go oh that's dope our cousin yeah. Do class of concert. He goes, oh, okay. Like he goes, well, our cousin, she married the guy. He married in the family. He do the class of concert. That's, he goes, well, our that's our cousin. cousin. That's what, he goes, yeah. I said, are we cousins? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's what yeah. 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 He's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, Shout okay. out to Marvan though. Yeah. Real talk. Well, Again, shout out Marvin. to Marvan. Yeah. Who's Let's gonna be on the show? Who will be on the show? Will be on. Who will be on the show? DJ, Mr. Drum. Yes. Man. yes. Hey, and honestly, not even just being my fam. I, I think he the best drummer in the city. Oh, he really is. As yeah, what, man. As We've been following the stuff him. now, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, okay, he, he, he showed me. And he has, like, Rez before the, uh, what was the first show, Rez was like, man, with the band, like, like man, what's what's going on? Like, we going to be real. <laughs> yeah, I was worried. I, say, I, was, I say, bro, I honestly, I have full trust in my band. Like, I was about to say, what's that like, transition for some of the rappers going from the track <laughs> to live band? Um, I will. Sauce was surprised. Yeah, that's for sure. I was gonna say we we gonna keep it real. Okay. For sure. Okay. Sauce, <laughs> Sauce was very surprised. Like, uh, man, like he and Sauce kept saying during the show, like, uh, yeah, I, don't, I just freestyle. I freestyle. Like, I I uh, I freestyle my lyrics and just boys used to having lyrics behind their mm-hmm. uh, performances, like the words going with you, and like I feel like. Any like uh, any artist that's like, uh, especially lyricists, like you kind of learn like that track don't really help you as much. You just, you go to a lot of concerts, you don't hit a track behind them just like that. Yeah, you make the microphone and the sound big enough in your voice, and that way people can feel exactly what you're saying and doing, not just hearing the track like I'm listening to the radio. I came to the concert because I want to feel you. Yeah, and so that's what people. I it some people are kind of. Uh, but you get people like Dante, people like uh, Jazz Anderson uh, did a great jazz, job yeah, with jazz, the band, not, and she didn't oh, have yeah. much. She really did much jazz. practice as well. Yeah. She was like a true artist. She just hopped onto the beat and yeah. you know what I'm saying. Started to even control the band as the performance started she, to go. She really did. Jazz so, Anderson, you know, to uh, kind of combat that, we implemented a rehearsal with the band so people kind of get a feel for it and yeah. you know. It's not all new or shock, but most of the time people have made adjustments. And with our most recent show, having that rehearsal, it, it shows like with uh, Propane and Doe Man. Doe Man. Man, like it, it, they're much more comfortable 
they're like riding the beat, they controlling the band, mm-hmm. they're having full hands on creativity with it, like where it cuts off and everything. So, you know, that's where we got and we had to learn like kind of trial by error, just kind of what we need to do better in preparing and everything. And that's that's what's worked for us so far. That's mm-hmm. it's worked pretty good, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> y'all are figuring it out on the fly, but it looks amazing. But yeah, definitely shout Thank out you. to Mar Van because he uh he pulled together the other band members that we oh, see. He's our yeah. music director. Yeah, so he's, we we trust in him and just uh put out the word for the day and man giving the music he works his magic. Marvin is one hundred. Shout out for Ride Our Sound, man. Oh yeah. yeah. Cause and that's the thing about the show. It takes a lot. I know y'all see we do it at match and we just don't do it there because it it is nice. But they're also equipped with everything we need because it's a full on production. Mm-hmm. And f- from recording it from the visual to the audio too. Like we gotta have somebody recording. Uh got another got we actually two recordings going. Uh and oh, you're saying okay. match. You're saying the match center, just so the audience knows. Mm-hmm. Midtown this is Arts. Midtown, yeah, Midtown, Midtown Arts. Yeah. Midtown Arts Theater Center of Houston. Uh, dope. Y'all check them out. Uh, they're a really nice facility. Wow. Wait, man. that's what match stands for? Yeah, yeah. Midtown's man, Arts Theater. Man, didn't know. Learn, learn no, something new every day. Black people don't know nothing about match. <laughs> learn something new. We don't. Every day. Theater. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> we you know what? You know what? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll include all, all the all the all the older there. black listeners. Like mom is uh, next okay. to the ensemble, uh, <laughs> so right next to the ensemble theater. Yeah, where you That's go see your, where you go see your plays normally. There's the match center. Calling out our mama oh, like that, that when she <laughs> driving, going, "Oh, the, the ensemble is the black. <laughs> they have like a lot of the black plays. Yeah, there. I, went and saw, I went and saw a couple of plays yep. up there. That's yeah. why it's right by. That's there. right exactly. there. Yep. So our, our mama, our mama. Oh, when I said match, goes, my dad was like, "Oh, by yeah. the ensemble." Yeah. I was like, "Okay, that's what y'all <laughs> yeah, know. exactly." So yes, the ensemble. So now I match Midtown Arts Theater, Theater Center, Center of Houston. Houston, Center of Houston, and so that I mean, first of all, that's like a really nice setup. The match center plus the live music, whatever. Like it feels like when I came in, I was like, "Oh, I should, probably should have dressed dressed up." up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. I said, "I just came up here. I thought this was a hip hop show." Yeah. I was like, "Oh, I should have yeah. dressed up." So yeah, uh, yeah. I be feeling like that. And I, man, shout out to Amy. Y'all had her own. Uh, put some salt in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I. Uh, that's my girl, man. We talk, uh, and I came to her. She was like. Like, bro, this is a hip-hop show, like, because I invited her out from the first show, like, and she come every time. I love to go out and support Bounce and Turn, too. Oh, yeah. And she's like, bro, it's a hip-hop show, like, you need people smoking weed and standing up in there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that in match. You can't do I'm that like, at all in match. Like, no, no, no. Yeah. No, no. Like, no. And no. I, no. Don't vape. <laughs> don't don't, don't nothing. do nothing yeah. in match. But you know what? No, no, there, are no. different, there are different veins and of different hip-hop. Shows. And, yeah. different, and, and it's good shows. that Houston, because I was like, yeah, I'll be telling people, like, you should go to Bounce and Turn. Mm-hmm. Bounce and Turn is a great time. Man, it's it's sure. the show that and you just, just described, too. <laughs> yes. I love that Bounce you, and Turn. Do what you yeah. wanted to do Bounce and Turn. Wilkes. And they're going to have some great food at oh, Bounce and yeah. Turn. She gonna, oh, Amy yeah. going to put you on some artists. She's going to be like, damn, like, Amy just throws a great party. Yeah. yeah. She really does. That Shout last show, Amy they had Bounce. a girl that sold us corn, and yeah. then she went and performed. And then she went and performed. <laughs> she showed us a <laughs> Lopez. I'm like, yo, this is good. I, that's that's entrepreneurship. Amy knows her stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. There was one where she had it sponsored by uh, Eighth Wonder. Yep. That was Man, great. That was great. That was great because yeah. nobody was drinking the rocket fuel, and that was my drink That's what choice. she was. And then oh, she yeah. had she Thank had you. Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter in the back. Show. Really? You said what now? I was at that show. I think. Oh, okay. Was okay. Was that, was at the bar? You said what? It wasn't. It was at the one at the bar. Oh no! Nah, oh, this okay. was at uh, golly, how to yeah, Wonky Power? Like, wonky Power. Uh, okay. It was at Wonky Power. Wonky Power. That was the first one or the second one that I went to because that's when you know what I will say that too. Pug and DeLorean, and that's no, when we that. saw God Body Bingo with the signs. I'll never forget that show. And that's she right, had Mortal Kombat. She had Mortal Kombat in the background. So I was like, man, she got this is like the best party ever. She knows how to throw a party. Yeah. yeah. Shameless yeah. plug yeah. for she, <laughs> she out yeah. in New Zealand right now doing it. That's yeah. where she started at. But yeah, that's my homie though. Yeah. But on yeah. the other end, <laughs> mm-hmm. The classroom. So it's a nice to go to a nice little event. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm man. saying? Like, exactly. And I will say it's one of those things where, like I said, we go to a lot of hip-hop events. Mm-hmm. Sometimes 
the you're just kind of there for the vibe. Mm-hmm. Everybody's just kind of drinking. Everybody's smoking. smoking everybody's flares. chilling. This is one of those <laughs> things where yeah. I was surprised just the way the venue was set up because I was like, oh, we sitting yeah. and watching the show. Yep. But it gave a level of importance, and that's why we like it too. To the, it's, to it's the a lyrics. More Typically, we're not at shows just oh, drinking oh, and smoking. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's so way being more able to intimate. sit down, yeah, it's way more intimate because the match center. I don't care what seat you're in, you feel close. Yeah. That's great. And like even on the seats in the back, I was like, oh, you not far mm-hmm. away mm-hmm. from the audience. So I'm like, you feel like you're a part of the show. That's 100. And we 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 want that theatrical aspect added to it we wanted that stage like we did the we did the south show it was a different room it was a smaller room and the stage wasn't uh like high wasn't uh uh rise on it wasn't big enough uh, <laughs> uh, we so we did it in uh we went to the bigger room and it's a lot more seating but it just gives the lightning everything just gives it that feel that we, we wanted to be uh uh a TV show. That's right. what it is. That's honestly yeah. what we wanted to be, and we wanted to be theatrical, like we did the uh, the last show. The we show and tell. Yeah, we did the show and tell uh, before uh, it, we opened it up with the show and tell. That's when we had uh, Desiree, Simone, uh, uh, ten twenty, Tobacco Ryan, Tobacco and, uh, and EJ. Yep. Yeah, they. Uh, but it was a classroom setting that we set up, and me being Professor Pete in the classroom, and the artist, we did a show and tell, like how you show us your skills, and then we just added the theater into it, and it, it we're getting great feedback from it right now, man. And uh, I think I, I just feel like we just with that type of venue, it was necessary to add that uh, type of element into it with the show and tell. So that really inspired and influenced us to put that in there. Shout oh, yeah. out Q Wayne, man. Uh, Q Wayne, man, uh, he's the director, bro. Shout out Q Wayne because he come up with some great ideas for it. He us. really Shout does. Tell ideas, yes. man. It just shout out to uh, Lexi and Ash, uh, y'all cousins. Stay, <laughs> my <laughs> wife, uh, Lexi. Uh, Ash is actually Q's uh, uh, girlfriend, uh, and just man, shout out to them. They do all the decor, stage setup, and everything. The collab concept, I think that's Ash uh, group, but just like man, all the decor. Ashrell and Lexi yeah. and Jay yeah. Brewer. They, they let us know. Oh, shout out to Jess Jackson. Exhibition coordinator. Whatever the hell that is. We have to get <laughs> his name right. Yeah, exhibition <laughs> coordinator. Oh, yeah. okay. Make sure you get it right, spell exhibition it right. Exhibition coordinator. Exhibition. Yeah, did, get it right. Do whatever. Jay, man, Jay, great asset to the team. He just one of those people every team needs, somebody who's selfless uh, and just willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. I got a good team, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And it's not just, uh, we're going to say, it's not just rappers y'all feature. As a oh, matter no, of no, fact, no. let's play uh, Susan Carroll. Oh, friend Susan. of the show, Susan Carroll. she's been on the show, this, and we like and, her performance. And she uh, is on tour right now with, <laughs> with Toby. Yeah. H-Town. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's 100, right. man. Shout out Susan, man. Hope y'all enjoy me and remember me and follow me. <laughs> this one of my favorite visuals <clears throat> of the show, bro. Yeah. Just the way he moved around with the he, smoke yeah. and he went through it. <laughs> Shout out, right? Yeah. Roger. I know what you mean with y'all director, man. I'll be like, okay. <laughs> Susan, <laughs> bro, I, your singing is amazing. When we, I know, <laughs> your singing is very. No, I see. Well, I'm like, no, it's yes, good because y'all are artists. y'all are really into bro. the artists uh, that y'all are picking I, out. To, yes, to, uh, to uh, just to say this, I 
I mix the shows myself. Like I mix the music myself. Okay, so, no wonder. So I like know these songs. Like, yeah. <laughs> like oh, it's yeah, like, like immediate. I was yeah. like, yo, he know all but of. Like, I, he's I, not. He's not every playing. line. Bro, he's I, not playing at all. I, I fell in love. Like that made me even fall in love with these artists even more. Like mixing. I'm like, man, that's why. I, I, like that's why we wanted to get this artist on the mm-hmm. show. Like these people are really ta- like watching Susan Carroll. I'm like, every time I see that clip, I said from when we when we. First edited the video because we do our own editing too, and I said uh, we saw it. I was like, bro, if I saw Susan Carroll from this video, I would sign her, bro. Oh, like, absolutely. Like, seeing that video, I was like, I would sign her. Just I see her do a thing on Instagram and everything, and that's what made me want to go reach out to her. Yeah. But after when I saw performing her own song like with the lie, I was like, bro, Man. who is this? She needs to be somewhere, and I think that's that's what happened. How she on tour right now? Sure like a exactly couple is. weeks later, you I know that success follow up. I think she's man. She's she's so amazing. Dope. She's amazing, yeah. man. Like shout out Susan Carroll. Yes. But we and, and we feel that way. I mean, that's kind of why we got the podcast started was because mm-hmm. we feel that way about so many artists. Where yeah. I'm like, Duh, you should be yeah. Like this is a like a layup. Like you should yes. <laughs> it's like if I mean, somebody man. came down here and signed you, they can get their yes. money. We like, we've talked off yes. camera that so many times where you're like just riding around with like your friends and you're playing something, and they go, "Who is that?" And you're like. That is such a, like, yeah. that's yeah. Susan Carroll. That's Rob Gillette. Yeah. That's the, like, you ever heard this? Oh, yeah, like playing, like, yeah. Rob and DeLorean. Playing DeLorean. That's big all fats. All the time. Man, yeah, like, playing people, like, people fats always be like, Doug, who is that? And I was like, it's DeLorean. He's from the city. And They're for like, a lot of oh. a lot of people in artists, it's just about getting in front of more people. That's yes. true. Even yes. though you might have a small part in the start off, is you start out with 9,000, you get, in front of 90,000 and 9 million, you know? Which is why we wanted to showcase y'all, too, because the more platforms, too, we can also showcase, the better. It's not just about the artists, but they need to be bigger. Like, I'm hoping Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in a year... Yep. Y'all are in a big, huge, like a big room, and <laughs> you know, same yeah. thing. Same. Like that. That's what. That's what we want to see. That's Keep what it we moving. Want from the artist, like we, and that's what we we talked about before, uh, Devon. Like about the, uh, we want, like, these artists to take off. We want not just the artists. Like, if you the artist starting off, you come on our show as an artist. We hope that somebody see our show, and be like, bam, if. We, if you're another platform in the city, like y'all, y'all have artists come through here, or we have artists come through our show, we want y'all to be like, hey, man, can we get that artist to come through? Can you holler at that artist, put him in touch? And the same with us, because yeah. that's how I, we want everybody to shine off of it. It's not just about a platform for for the artists. It's a platform for us all. Like, we can yeah. all, we, and not just saying our show is a platform, but what y'all doing is a platform for us. Yeah, yeah. What we doing is a platform for y'all. Absolutely. What's that is a platform Absolutely. for the artists. Like, what y'all doing is a platform for the artists. We can all help each other out. And I think a lot of people are like, oh, no, nah, chill out. If I'm doing, if I'm kind of in that area and doing what you're doing, what we talked about, like, you, then that means I can't, I got to make sure that we not doing the same thing or dealing with the same yeah. people. It's kind of like, no. Like and we, we should be doing yeah. the same thing and dealing. Like, should. that's why we try yeah. to shout out, you know, you guys. Reading, reading with, with a Rapper. rapper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Donnie Houston yes. Podcast. Yes. Donnie Houston Podcast. Like, Slump like everybody that's doing <laughs> Slump Sessions. Yeah. Anybody that's doing something, it's like we all talk. If you went to another city, you go to New York, like a major media hub, mm-hmm. the same artists are going to hit like eight different things. Yeah, they go, the I'm going to do this interview like eight different times. Yeah. Man, there shouldn't yeah. just be one spot not to I come mean, interview. So there right. shouldn't be one spot to go perform. It exactly. Like it's like, it yo, it I want to do a bounce and turn and a classroom concerts and go to warehouse yeah. live and do the you know like the, and, I want to be able to do all these types of things and that's what we want I mean until that starts happening more in Houston you know we're going to continue seeing the same results and that's one of the main things we set out to address and especially in 2020 we're going to address and try to focus on is collaborating more with different um platforms, platforms yeah. different uh we all already started media so. groups mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> welcome More <laughs> for sure. but but even different brands in the city man we yeah, got yeah. Uh, a few uh a, a few set up man uh one i'm really excited about i ain't gonna say too much about it right now until we get something going uh right but uh i just like man people are very interested in what we're doing in the city and i think uh, a lot of people recognize that we need something like this in the city, that we need something like 
we every hip hop, and that's what I, I go on attention by hip hop all the time because I feel like it's so important to our society. Two most important, two most influential things I should say in our society is hip hop and religion. Like them two has them two things. Those two things have probably influenced the world more than anything else. Hip hop over the last what century or whatever, and I say that, but. 40 years or whatever but hip hop over the last 20 for sure has been look how it's like transcended hella impact oh, yeah. and yeah. I just looking at that like our city needs to be very in tune we can't be the fourth largest city and we're not in tune with our hip hop scene exactly. and sure. fourth like, about to be the third Yeah, that's about what's incredible to be the third. shout like, out Chicago yeah but we're <laughs> yeah. about to surpass that, especially yeah. with all these people moving here including from yes. Chicago mm -hmm. moving down here but <laughs> it is one of those things where there are a lot of stuff that I feel like the city got to catch up on not yeah. just media but like you know public transportation yeah. being yeah. more yeah. of a city and the uh, nightlife the, the nightlife I, I tell people all the time <laughs> We're a big city with a small town feel. We really That's are. Exactly that Bible Belt mentality. Yeah, it's like we it's, definitely it's a operate. Huge city can't buy a liquor town. after. Like, yeah, bruh. I, that, I was going to say, I can tell you what a but, small city feel like being for Tyler. <laughs> yeah. oh, I tell you all about that. My bad. I feel like you still kind of get that feel. Like, people are, in Houston, people aren't like very angry too much. Like, people kind of just chill. Like, a small yeah. town is kind of like, oh, what's up? Like, people will speak to you. You go to New York, you throw to do something to somebody, nigga, like, Bro, like, Who are you? I also, I mean, even the connection where people say things like about the uh, artist in the city. Like, it's like, yo, know, Houston, like I said, when we started this, my biggest surprise was how easy it was to yeah. reach out to yeah. people mm -hmm. and that they responded. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd be like, what, what are you talking for about real? us for? They want it. And they'd be like, oh, no, 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 y'all cool. Like, that's yeah. it. Like, and we said, tell other people we'd about be like, you. oh, well, let us get your email. They're like, nah, take my phone number. Yeah. Let's get this. And then they'll still reach out yeah. and be like, or still shout out and things like that and let us know about other people. So the city, like, it's one of those things where I, I always say the same thing. I, I I refer to media where I said we're a huge metropolis, but we're we're a metropolitan city, but we operate like a small town. Yeah, yeah. I totally agree. We got like one newspaper, mm -hmm. we got one radio, yeah, we station. got one or two yeah, things. Yeah, that <laughs> that doesn't surprise y'all though with the internet. Oh, age it's, ma it's, and it's us being it's, such a huge city that these voids haven't been. I think there are, uh, my thing is, I think they're about to be filled. I totally agree. Yeah. Like now we're, we're I, the, we they're, they're, definitely right they're certain, about to be filled. There's definitely certain feelings that we're I have. Feeling we're feeling them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right feeling now, them. this is what. But it's not just that. It's things like, yeah. uh, you know, the, I mean, there used to be a time when the, the Rockets weren't always on national news, but now True. they starting yeah. to get, there used to be a yeah. time where I'm like, like he said it a couple of weeks ago, like. The number one artist in the country has been from Houston for the past like three years. For the past three years, yeah, like we got the last Lizzo, three so we got Lizzo, Travis, Travis, yeah, Lizzo, Lizzo, who are we Travis, forgetting? Beyonce, Meg, Beyonce, Meg, Beyonce, I'm, 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 Meg, Meg, Meg. Like yeah. MVP, like look, LeBron, look. you could get MVP every year. Beyonce, Beyonce, yeah. Beyonce is now like Scarface. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to mention it. Yeah, very yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my, my bad, Beyonce, for even <laughs> mentioning you with other people. We were like top five better alive, and they don't mention. Scar that people be like Scar well you know he in that there don't count, yeah. but yeah. that don't count like yeah, I'm like, <laughs> that, no that, it does that is one of it those does. things though <laughs> it does so it, it is does. a thing where it's like yeah we've <laughs> reached a point where it's like you can't have this much talent being that big coming out and always having to move eventually other people from the outside are gonna be like well I'm gonna just go there mm-hmm yeah. And like Doe Beasley was saying, like he said it on here. He goes, "Yo, you come to Houston and you don't, you don't need A and R. You don't need like you've got people that have ten years worth of material that are ready to go. That still sound fresh. You could come, whoever Rock Nation could come by and pick up DeLorean right now. Yeah, they really could. And yeah. and, 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 oh, and that's it. And it's not a oh, I got to turn you into something. I just have to expose your music mm -hmm. to the rest of the world. Propane yep. was just up propane. Rock Nation. Propane. propane was you see rock what Nation. happened to Young Jesse? Yeah, we had propane. Yeah. was just a Rock Nation. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, rock Nation. And that's the he thing. It's like yeah. all Egg those people rock Nation now? that were out yeah. of that Man, 2010 class. Yeah. Were, oh, yeah, Deji. Yeah, you see what happened to Deji and Meg? You put me on Meg and Deji and just looking at them, Nothing, nothing changed. Somebody just picked them up. Yeah, and it was like, yeah, the music it's still. Yeah, I the said, music, the, I, yeah. I said the music is as good as when they left, and that's not a knock. Mm -hmm. It's like 
the music was good starting it out. It was, y'all, man. Y'all better, Already. And it is. Y'all better watch out for Wiz, though, man. He keep coming down here, plucking <laughs> artists out of the city. Like but that's that. the thing. Oh, I said, look. We're going to talk artists, about it now. So, no, Wiz, we're going to talk about how Wiz is coming down Wiz's here. Wiz's whole last album was a Young Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're that was, yeah. <laughs> Wiz has come down here. Yeah. Rock Nation has been coming down here. Yeah. 300 stay down. A lot of yeah, people have been coming down here. Basically, oh, Meek, have an Meek got, What's the name? Uh, Young Ro. Young, Young Ro. Down here. Me coming down here. I'm yeah. like, at a certain point, it's like, first of all, it's a major city. Like, this ain't even a bad city. This, this is a nice city to come down to. Right. Like, it's not yeah. like you going to no shot against whoever's in Iowa. I'm sorry. <laughs> the shot's out to yeah, y'all. we done did it. But the it's not like, yo, 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 I'm sorry, Iowa. if we lost our one fan in Iowa. <laughs> like, <laughs> Big shout that, out to Iowa. That's not a shot against Iowa. That's just a shot against shout us for only Iowa, having man. one yeah. fan out of Check Iowa. Out classroom <laughs> concert to Big Iowa. shout out to Iowa and but your potatoes. there are certain areas that you go to where you're like, okay, it's not a lot of people out here, and it's not a lot of stuff to do. You know, yeah. I don't know, Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Like, so, no, it's you know, and so it's a thing where they say, but they'll talk about that with, like, you know, uh, 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 athletes, where they'll be like, yo, like, why don't they go there? Like, they just don't want to, you know, everybody didn't want to be in Oklahoma. Like, they, <laughs> like, I wanted to go to a larger city. Mm-hmm. Houston is a large city. It's large enough. You got a lot food. of stuff to do. Yes. And there's a lot of women out here. Yeah. Just he, keeping on well, the I athlete just, thing. He just, he just yeah. put it out there. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Slim Thug put it out there multiple times. Uh, and he Drake, was like, oh. Drake came out here and <laughs> exposed everybody to the point where now I'm watching the Insecure. Scene. Here I'm watching Insecure and they're like, why is, I'm like, why is he from Houston? Yeah. yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Drake for yeah. what he what he did for, for, the city, for, for He really And now he's got his big interview out. Where he was, I watched, <laughs> I watched like twenty minutes. I couldn't do the whole two hours. Uh, I haven't even hours. started. Man, yeah. if like you just, I'm with you. If you don't I put that thing started. in your car and just I break know, it down gradually, uh, uh, like you do started. the Joe Button. That's podcast. exactly what I yeah. 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 Uh, exactly. Just break yeah, because Joe Button does have me used to listen to like three hours. Yeah, of people like, talking like, about random two hours and fifty nine minutes. Oh, happy day! Got to it. By the next, by the what is it? This will be Saturday. I'm finishing up. Tuesday night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday that is true. Wednesday. I'm right. usually yeah. finishing that thing. Car ride yeah. But in yeah. my humble opinion, we like to keep it an hour because we respect your time. We yes, do. <laughs> and some with the show, like I've been, because the first show, what, 30 minutes? Yeah, it was And I've been long. trying, I'm like, every time, I'm like, no, bro. I would, ideally, and I would want the show to be like 10 minutes just because being a, Looking oh, at it from YouTube and all yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Shorter attention span. But you can get out them ten minute, uh, them ten minute clips, clips man. Yeah, and yeah that's, that's it. True. Look, I will say the show didn't seem long. No, nah, and that's and we saw two shows it that was, night, y'all yeah, filmed. We, yep. Yeah, they filmed yeah. three, and we we were oh, there for two. I, yeah, okay, I can only say for two. Yeah. But that was the thing. I was like, yeah, the the show goes, it moves. It does. I will say that. Yeah, there was not one point where I was like, I gotta get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> man, Thankfully, I'm, man. And and I and it's it's it is a live production, so we do appreciate people being patient at the show because it's we gotta close the curtains, change the scenes, you know, yeah. whatever. Like yeah. uh, so we appreciate people being and patient. That's when you could go outside and, and vape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> get your drinks. They got, nice drinks, drinks they got too. drinks. Yeah. They got a nice little area. Hey, let's yeah. let's do one more. We got a last one. Let's do uh let's do bloodbath. Okay. Man. Also, because we want her on this show as yeah. well. Hey, Bloodbath. Shout, Shout out. out. Come on Bloodbath. out. Come on out, Bloodbath. Came to Everybody Eats. Remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all were there? Y'all, y'all were oh, at nah, the, nah, uh, yeah. the strip club? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we were. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we ate some good food. Shout out to, <laughs> shots out like to her for turning that around Houston. real quick. Hey, like, I was like, oh, shout out to her for turning that into a family event, like, yeah. overnight. Her and Amy there are children, pulled that yeah, together real quick. Club, looking amazing. It don't even look like that. I knew y'all was going to play a part of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's one of my favorite And I always knew that my life would be different. Even though I spent my whole life in these dreams. Knock them from the projects, apartment building. Some niggas that I thug with is gone and I miss. Be feeling like they left me all alone on this mission. Even though it do me dirty, I still love my trench. Apartment building. I come from a good old block. In my apartment building My whole family good now Got a soccer hood now In my apartment building Ain't hey, not nah, a true story, man I come from nothing, man 
I swear to God, man, we had to, used to have a little ass bar of soap in the house. I'm talking about trying to rub that whole hard on our body, man. I'm talking about, I'm talking about boiling water to bathe. I come from nothing, mm -hmm. man. So I appreciate blessings like this, man. It's a blessing to be here. Right Let's there, turn these people up one time. Let's see. And so that's, a, that's another big thing where it's like, I feel like they even choose the songs where they're like, yo, I want the expressive oh, yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And then I want to talk about it. Yeah. And then that's it. And it just, it's just different. It's a different kind of show. Only person I gave a whole set list to was Sauce Walker. That was the only person I gave a whole set list to and to say, I want these songs and these uh -huh. songs. <laughs> he came in. He was like, okay, bet. bet. <laughs> you had to set the precedent. And now yeah, it's yeah, been you set. Had, you had to set it on the first one. Yeah. Yeah. You had yeah, to set man, it on the first he, one. And and also just knowing how much music Sauce has, uh, <laughs> I really wanted to be very direct. So I yeah. wanted to, like, we needed to give him the parameters. Like, Rez was like, maybe have, like, write some down, note to something to give to him. It's like, nah, let's just try to give him the songs. And make and let him just craft whatever man, around man. it. Sauce, man, sauce, I don't know man. if we'll ever have anybody on the show better than Sauce just because of his personality. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Not just saying his music and everything, but just what he brought to the show, like his personality, man. Not too many people can handle a stage like Sauce and not just rapping, but to stand on stage for an hour. Sauce gave us probably about an hour. Like, he's talk. like a born he's performer. Yeah, he's yes. a showman. His he's daddy was a showman. born and performer. Not, but that's what got me, because yeah. he's when the camera's on, he's a showman, but at the same time, he got to talking on the show, and I was like, this dude is smart. Intellectual. And a mother, like everything we yep. out. Like, I started, after that show, I watched Sauce, and I'm like, bro. This dude's strategy is crazy. It's, it's yeah. intentional, it's like, strategic. Yeah. I have so much more respect for like the sauce movement that they have, man. Like TSF, just because knowing like him leading that movement and like being the brains behind the operation and like he just that that dude is smart, bro. Ooh, shout, out shout, shout, out shout, out shout out to Sauce. Shout out to Sauce. Shout out to Well, I mean, we don't have too much left. Let's hear some of the guests that you want on. Go ahead and shot that out because oh. I mean I'm not saying they listening. They might Megan be. The they might Megan the Stallion. Megan, we've been trying to get. Oh well, shoot it. I mean, since we all give a shout out, Meg, you want to come perform? <laughs> you want to nah, come interview and be on this show? No, but go ahead. Say, <laughs> Megan, say you did. Like we package. need you. Okay, uh, young Deji <laughs> working. Yeah, Deji, we gonna make that happen, man. Uh, we yeah, we talked about Rob. Like Rob, just somebody in the game like that. I just res respect Galette? directly. Yeah, oh, Rob Glett. Uh, we, 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 we can Gillette. we can we can connect you with Rob Glett. Rob, like yeah, like like Dante, man, propane them. They just some people I respect in the city just from being in the city. But great like, artist, Beat King. We yeah. really want Beat King. We, Beat King. We need you too, bro. We, we really need, need you. you to come yeah. out here and perform. <laughs> Crush yeah. with the live band, wow. Wow. Be King go, with a live band. Yeah, That's gonna, gonna be go wild. crazy, be bro. The city. I feel like that show would be the craziest. Like, and I, I want him to bring all the strippers out. Yep. We might King let him on with stage a live and band twerk. Hold up, would be incredible. <laughs> and, and we want to wanna open up to all other Texas artists too, like Hold up, Dallas, man. Uh, Hold up, man. <laughs> Trap Boy, Freddy's, the Mo Threes of the Trap world. Trap Boy, oh Mo uh, Three. Yeah, you know, we're going to get to that. We at Dallas. Beasy. Everybody ain't your friend. Mo Three's my guy. Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah, man, we're looking all over, man. I listened to Mo Three album. It, it, uh, it jammed too. Uh, yeah. Got some bangers on there, but that yeah. remix with Boost. Dallas, man. we oh yeah. yeah, we really wanted to get up to Dallas and do a show, and because uh, they have a lot of artists up there. I really like Dallas music scene. You know, Red's from right around the corner from Dallas. Yeah, He's trying true. to rep it low key, but. <laughs> I was gonna leave that alone. I mean, hey, I nah, felt that. Nah, I felt that. Nah, because it felt real yeah. Dallasy for a minute. Nah, look, he, he talked through it. We were still talking it. about Houston artists. He was like, "Hey, noticed. man, Dallas though." He got on some gray and some nah, blue. He really trolling. He did. He a Cowboys Who's fan. Who's your for? Oh, yeah, I'm a oh, Patriots fan. I ain't got okay. nothing to do with Dallas. Oh, okay. I'm just an hour and a half away. Okay. <laughs> I meant to open the show up with that. Uh, talk about. <laughs> talk I got about this hat on. Texas right hats. I was now, but. I wanted a few people who I rock with. I'm, I'm from the H, so I can't hate on the Texans. I, I rock with the Texans, too. I was just at a game a couple weeks ago. But, yeah, I'm a Cowboys fan, though. Oh, man. I'm, this is the most disappointed Sad I've day. ever been. Y'all like, was happy in, them first three bro, games, though. I know. We are. You've been, three you've been games. disappointed we thought that morning. We're, we're the most delusional fans. I know that. Like, yeah. I'm delusional every year. 
But this year, I really felt like. No, nah, it's not true. I really felt like. I'm a Rockets like, fan. We super dope. Yeah, I'm about to ah. say. Harden. Harden I'll be win. like James Harden, ISO all the time. Have you, Nothing wrong with that. Playoffs. He Nothing wrong happen. with that. Have you, have you, have you, have you there met is him. an I in team. Have you met him? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Have you, met a, leave hard no have you met a Knicks fan? Ugh. Oh, no. <laughs> so I, y'all are good. Actually, yeah. I haven't met a. Uh, I've been looking for Golden State Warriors fans. I haven't found They disappeared. Ooh, wow. Oh, they went to they, the Lakers. They went. No, uh, yeah. All, they, they, all they, their they fans followed, went to okay. the Lakers. They followed yeah. LeBron. Yeah. Some of them, I think 10% yeah. of them went to the Clippers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 10% Ooh, of them yeah, went yeah. to the Clippers. That's it. Uh, yeah. they, they just, I'm looking for you, Golden State fans. They just went a little down south. That's all. That's I'm not going to clown them too hard because they beat us, but yeah. yeah. Christmas. I don't even, oh, oh, Christmas <laughs> Day. How did we? Never mind. Let's Anyways, get that. Never mind. I want uh, another artist. I'm zero. For real. Oh, Most I City want done. Zero. Mo City done with the uh With, with the a live band? band? Bro. He'd be incredible. That'd be nice. Bro, that'll be live so band. crazy. Yeah. Uh, and I, I honestly, no disrespect to anybody, but just been trying to stay away from Houston legend artists like that. Like, because I feel like it kind of puts you in a box, and they've been put on to the utmost in the city. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. you're really trying to you trying to gravitate yeah, to. We don't want people to be like, oh yeah, they, yeah. Only, they just wanna. But J Dog, you can come too, man. Like, oh man, yeah. I would love to hear J Dog. Like, oh, get J-Dog. up there. We're trying rap. to get J Dog too. Whatever yeah. it is he do, I, I don't even know if J Dog call that rapping, bro, because he just he's preaching. Yeah, he's because it's, it's a whole he's different most, passion that he brings yeah. to the that team. voice. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ooh, it comes from his diaphragm. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's all. That's why whenever he show up, they ask him to pray. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing was that was like J Dog, you want to pray real quick? Yeah. I was J-Dog, like, we, yeah, had him at pray least, at the Nipsey. Uh, uh, he did. We was at the Nipsey yeah. celebration. It was like J Dog, come on down. Yep. I said J Dog's family got to ask him to pray every time because he say the best prayer. He might he as does. well get ordained. Hands down. Every done. time J Dog pray, be. I'd be like, you know what? I do need to change my life. <laughs> Let me get my life Don't together. Close out the show with a prayer. <laughs> I'm like, yo. He do. That's just we it. For, we forget Don Tolliver, man. That's another oh, one. Oh, man. We reached out to Don, too. That's yes. somebody I've I reached, I out, reached to out to Don. It's to Don. After, on another after level, Can't though. Say, I was like, I for sure. Uh, yeah, I was like, yeah. you, had, you got. Yeah, he blew up. Yeah. Yeah. He blew up. Yeah. Now the Jack saying. now the Jack Boys is out. Yeah. So but it we, blew up. We've, we've liked Don Tolliver for a while. But it is what it is. But you know what? That's also a sign where it's like, I'm going to tell you right now, the list of people that we had. That had to keep getting checked off because they started blowing up. Yeah, that's yeah. That's we tough. was talking to Young Deji, yeah. and then he's like, "I gotta leave town." Yeah. I was like, "Ah, oh, duh." But I'm I like, literally, his home pot. I mean, his partner. Every single like, I was like, "Yo, I'm not gonna say every single," but we had like a list of twenty. I was like, "Yo, these are the ones we want to get," and it was like, "Oh, you got picked up. You yeah. got signed." You got signed. You got this. And you got that. That man, you got the eye. I, like, yeah. you know, I said, I said, man, okay. At least we got. We're looking at people that we think are going to do it. But yep. I'm like, that means other people are also looking. Yep. So and, Houston, mm-hmm. Houston, something's happening. And I just want to let those artists that have blown up, uh, got up out the city, man. Please. Uh, it's not y'all not too big to do the shows, man. We come on we, back. We would love to have y'all in the city, and I just I feel like it's a certain like I said all the time. Like I think as artists in the city, we look at other cities like Atlanta and everything, and L.A. and no, the, with the majors and the money in the city like that, and the, it's, it's a whole structure set up, and we're like, oh, we don't we don't have that down here. We look at how they move, and like, oh, why we can't move like that? Well, because they have things in place like that. Yeah, here. We don't have that shit. Like, but if we can get you, we can yeah, get the artists we'll get to come that. back. We can get those artists that have blown up to come and shine yeah. light on these shows that are doing stuff in the city. Like, even if it's not performing, like giving shout outs and just keeping your ear to the street of what's going on in the city. Yep. I think that'll just help everybody out a lot. Like, because we need that in the city. We need to the other people to record the people that other that when you leave out the city that you reach we 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 need you to bring the city with you and let people see what else is going on in the city because we got a lot of artists they getting snatched up yeah yeah got a lot of artists that's what it is man we've been in my humble opinion we've been here with classroom concerts (laughs) yes sir professor pete Ah. our cousin right over there and Fake Barack Obama over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A1 Hollywood. A1 Hollywood. A1 Hollywood. A1 and Professor. You see the branding there they did with yeah. Classroom. It's pretty yeah, I see clever. That. Yeah. And that's you can good. find them at Classroom Concerts. Find yeah. them at Classroom Concerts. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Well, thank you once again. 
This has been, uh, in my humble opinion, I am Carlton with a KBN Triple X, and that is Just Devon. Good night and goodbye. Shout out Thank to Cousin Reggie. Cousin Reggie. <laughs> Cousin Reggie. What's oh, up? Oh, yeah. Shout out to Reggie. Shout out to Cousin shout Reggie. Out to Reggie. Hey, shout out to Go Live Photography, man. There you go. I right, yes, appreciate sir. it. Shout out to all your people. There we go. <laughs> Thank you.